Hello everyone and welcome back. Now, two or so weeks ago, I released a video sort of stating some of the issues that I have with Jurassic World Evolution 2. And these varied from bugs and just general pet peeves that I have with the game. However, you know, that video did reasonably well and I see that there's a lot more issues that people are having. So I thought I'd make a almost part two to that video. And today we'll be sort of getting into more detailed sort of ways of describing some of the issues with Jurassic World Evolution 2. And this isn't, again, just limited to bugs. There is a few sort of continuity issues, if you will, that I have with Jurassic World Evolution 2, even six months on. But quickly, a quick little shameless plug. Um, I do actually have a Twitter, and I know that not too many people really know that because I don't shine it on. But again, if you want to get some behind the scenes stuff at the videos and just generally want to chat with me at some point, then feel free to go and check out my Twitter. The link is in the description. But with that being said, I'm not even going to set a like goal on today's video. If you do go on to enjoy it, make sure you do like because, you know, it takes three seconds if that and it does support me massively. And, you know, the more the merrier. And with that in mind, as your recent support has shown me, the sky is well and truly the limit. So if you do want to subscribe or like, I'm not going to force you to. It's purely your decision, but you know, it is always greatly appreciated. But enough rambling on, enjoy the video. So in the original video, it's fair to say that most of you agreed with my points and even went on as far to say some of your own issues with Jurassic World Evolution 2 down in the comments. And it did put into the sheer sort of spectacle of how many issues this game does have. And I know well and truly in its own respect that it's still a great game, but nothing's perfect and Jurassic World Evolution 2 definitely doesn't come so much so near that margin, despite being a good game. So as I say, today's video will be a mix of sort of pet peeves with Jurassic World Evolution 2, as well as actual genuine bugs that really mess up a lot for me. So with that in mind, the first issue I have with Jurassic World Evolution 2 is designs. And this is more specifically for the aquatic creatures being the Lasmosaurus, Lypleurodon, stuff like that. You get the idea, it's something that even from launch people have had an issue with, and fair enough, it's not something Frontier can really change, but then again, you could argue that these shouldn't have really been the designs that were put in place in, well, the first place. And as a matter of fact, I do actually want to highlight the Elasmosaurus and Lyplerodonis. Generally speaking, in terms of designs, they are where I have the biggest issues. And to firstly begin with the Elasmosaurus, I feel like that it's just so needlessly detailed in terms of like the armor plating and the spikes. I don't really know why Frontier have a tendency to do that with dinosaurs and generally just creatures. They just, if you can't think of something, they just chuck spikes on it and I don't get why. The only valid reason, and I'd argue that this isn't even justifiable, is down to the fact that the Plesiosaurus and Attenborosaurus, as well as sort of the Elasmosaurus minus the armor plating, would all be in their own respect very similar aquatics and I guess that Frontier wanted to try and avoid that with the Elasmosaurus, but it just hasn't really clicked for me and that's not even down to the fact that it's far from paleo accurate the design is just really almost unsettling because i don't know why you'd really take that dynamic with the elasmosaurus i get it it's a big scary aquatic creature but you know to sort of put a stamp on that scary you don't need to make it look blind and give it spikes and the same goes for the lipluridon i asked for the lipluridon and we got the Lyplurodon. However, we also got a sort of crocodilian version. And that's my biggest disappointment because in spite of us actually getting the Lyplurodon, its design isn't accurate. And I hate to be the person that nags on about paleo accuracy, but I like the design. I just don't like the fact that it's the design for the Lyplurodon, if you get what I'm trying to say. If you look at the hybrids DLC or the secrets of Dr. Wu DLC in Jurassic World Evolution, 90% of the hybrids in that DLC were literally copy and pastes from Jurassic World the game. And I honestly, yeah, I would have been reasonably disappointed if they did that for Jurassic World Evolution 2 of the aquatic designs. However, I'd much prefer we get these sort of more accurate designs to what the creatures actually were instead of these armored crocodilian spiky, well, messes. And that does conclude my sort of pet peeve number one. And moving on to a more common issue that has only recently really come into the spotlight. And that is the old gen crashing issue. A, an issue that I myself am beyond prone to and it is extremely irritating. So as far as I'm aware, this issue isn't actually on new gen. So your PS5, your Xbox One or PC. 
However, on old gen, whenever you spend or put too much detail into a parkour, even just randomly, sometimes your console just crashes. So, you know, I don't know the exact reason for this. I don't know if it is just spontaneous crashing or if there is actually a reason such as reaching the species cap or generally just too much detail into a park. However, I've lost entire park builds down to this and it's just so broken and, you know, I don't get it. This glitch was never really in the game since the latest update, well, slash the BIOS and expansion, and ever since it came out, I've just kept getting this bug, and I've seen people in the comments asking me for ways to resolve it, I've seen people on Reddit nagging about it, and, you know, it just seems that it's something that can be fixed, but Frontier are just blatantly ignoring it almost. So, again, I don't have a fix for this, the only real thing I can sort of recommend to you if you are facing this issue is Try not to make your parks as expansive as possible because you may well be at risk of losing them. And moving over to um, both old gen and new gen issue, and that is basically your dinosaurs, quite frankly, freezing. And I can't really put much of a stamp on that or put an emphasis on it. It is quite literally sometimes when your dinosaurs are coming out of the hatchery or have just been healed and are flying about, they literally just stop whatever they're doing and that animation is sort of stuck in a trance where they can't move and you know they are still considered dinosaurs they'll still need to drink and eat but they can't and just die on the spot however when they die they are still stuck in this exact same position and i have unfortunately lost the dlc dino only park as a result of this and there was a sort of lesser issue than this back when the game launched where when you released aquatics and i think it was just the attenborosaurus i believe when you released it, it wouldn't actually go out of the uh, lagoon hatchery. It would just stay put. And it would swim about in that little area, so it wasn't even frozen. However, it does look as if this glitch has made an unfortunate return, this time in a much more memorable fashion where it actually basically just freezes our dinosaurs and eats them off until they die. And moving on to the last issue that I want to confer with you in today's video is pterosaurs don't walk. Okay, so fair enough, this isn't actually an issue as much as, again, similar to the design faulty I had as much as a pet peeve. However, I've seen so many people commenting and just telling me why don't ferros ferros pterosaurs don't walk. And honestly, I don't know why. I feel like this should have been in the game since the start because it's not exactly a massive expansion to do. It is quite literally an update where you add walking animations. It doesn't have to be special and honestly it just makes no sense how they say the dimorphodon doesn't actually spend too much time flying as it does walking yet doesn't walk and it's just another continuity error to just slap right bang into jurassic world evolution too and in terms of resolving this i guess all we can really do is hope and pray that when an eventual aviary dlc does come around that these animations are finally added and you know that we can get to see our pterosaurs finally walk about believe it or not however that does wrap up some more issues i have with jurassic world evolution 2 if you do want to see a part three let me know some suggestions you have down in the comments for a chance to have your issue featured in a video once again thanks for all the recent support make sure to check out my twitter link in description and this has been selino thanks for watching and i do hope to catch you in the next one